guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl Kiara and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to recover from protein overload or how I overcame protein overload but before we move on subscribe to my channel it is that fat red button that's down below that says subscribe and let's get on to the video the first tip once you realize your hair has protein overload is to stop using products that has protein in them immediately. Um, that says keratin, that says any source of protein. I do believe some proteins are good, which is the hydrolyzed protein, I think. Uh, those are good. Me, personally, I just feel like you should stay away from proteins altogether because your hair had enough structure, had enough protein for the day or for the month, just stay away from protein. Proteins can be hidden in many products. I will leave some of the names down below in the description box. So you need to start reading those labels and start searching for protein. And if it says protein, don't use it, don't buy it, get it out your house, just stop using it altogether. And there are a small amount of protein free products out there. Just start using those. Um, it's a very small amount, but just start using those and making sure you stay consistent without using protein until your hair says it needs more protein. All right, so step two, start clarifying your hair. Start using a clarifying shampoo. You can also use apple cider vinegar to help you clarify your hair. What I did was start shampooing my hair every week with a clarifying shampoo. And your hair do not need any extra product buildup. Just making sure to get all the gunk and the yuck out of your hair. That is key in overcoming protein overload. So step three, I think is like the most important step is to deep condition, making sure you bring in the moisture. Your hair had enough structure, enough protein, be sure not to buy a deep conditioner that has keratin in it, that says repair, that says structure. Your hair is already structurified. Do not buy a deep conditioner that says those things. Make sure it says hydrate, moisture, intensely moisturizing, or uh, something. Don't buy anything that says repair, structure. No, 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 no. Your hair is already coated. It's already coated with protein. It has its strength back and it don't need any more strength. Make sure you deep condition. What I did was deep condition once a week after I shampoo with a clarifying shampoo. I did use a deep conditioner as well. I make sure to leave it on my hair for 30 minutes. Sometimes I also use heat to make sure the deep conditioner penetrate my hair. So no proteins y'all. Your hair has already got protein in, okay? So make sure you stay away from those things. Now it is important to trim your ends. Having protein overload can cause a lot of split ends, a lot of breakage. So making sure that breakage do not continue to split up your hair strand, make sure you trim your ends. So when I have protein overload, I trim my hair at least every five weeks. I know that's a lot, but until my hair grew out and my hair recovered from protein overload, my hair needed the trimming because my hair was breaking at the ends, was splitting at the ends, my hair was feeling dry. It just needed a trim almost like every month or so. And then over time, I know that my hair getting healthier and healthier, I didn't need to trim that often anymore. So listen to your hair. If you notice a lot of split ends on your hair and you have protein overload, be sure to trim that off. Do not hold on to it. It's not beneficial to hold on to split ends. Get it out the way for your hair to flourish and retain length. Just making sure you trim your ends. That is so important. I know the first time when I had to trim my ends, when I first had protein overload, I had to trim so much of my hair off y'all, so much, like almost two and a half inches because my hair was just that dry and damaged after having protein overload. And it sucked, but I got over it because over time, my hair flourished and my hair like loved me at the end. Lastly, after all of these steps, you must have patience. Patience, patience, patience is the key. If you do all of these steps correctly, 
your hair will love you and flourish. Just make sure you have patience, guys. I know it can be discouraging sometimes. You just wanna just slice it off. Just slice your hair off and start over. You don't have to do that. Making sure you just stay with the routine, just stay diligent, and just bring back the moisture, uh, deep condition, get your ends trimmed. So some of you guys may ask me how long did it take for me to get over my protein overload. When I had it, it took me about almost nearly three months. <laughs> I know it's a long time, but it took like almost to get completely over it about three months or like two and a half months, whatever. So that took a lot of patience. I'm here to tell you it is possible to get over this, guys. Just stay determined, stay encouraged. I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions that I did not answer, please feel free to leave them down below and subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.